If you want to know how we determine what contracts to use in construction, then stay tuned, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Chris Conkle and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you master construction so that you can become an industry leader. My goal is to teach you as much as I know so that you can start making as much money as possible because I know how important it is to, to work hard, make money for your family, and you everybody wants to live a decent life. So if you're wanting to be a success in construction, then you're in the right place. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the different organizations, uh, the roles and responsibilities of authority in construction that uh, help tell us what types of contracts to use. Um, there's no, there's a lot of rules uh, rev around this um, the, well, around what type of contracts to use, and there's a there's different agencies as you can see um, who produce standard documents. Now a lot of like owners can basically uh, write almost any contract they want, but uh, it's it's best industry best practices to use these standard documents and uh, manipulate them to your uh, specific needs, right? Um, so there's standard documents, but there's like hundreds of thousands of variations of hybrids, right? So um, on this video series, I'm gonna start. This is the first video in the series, so uh, I'm gonna be going over all of the different uh, contracts, like delivery systems. So uh, my next video will be on the traditional uh, design bid build uh, model, and then I'll be going into contract management, design build, uh, P3 contracts, BIM contracts, um, and yeah. So uh, probably, uh, probably when I go into my contract management series, I might break that down into uh, a few different videos because there's a couple different ways you can go there, like contract management and, uh, at risk and stuff like that. And it works a little differently. So straight off the bat, we have the uh, American Institute of Architects. Now, what they do is they have standard documents for uh, architects and contractors, right? So the owner will go into a, um, a contract with uh, the architect and the contractor. The architect and contractor generally aren't in uh, um, uh, directly contracted, like they're not, you know, normally they're not, uh, um, you know, um, tied together contractually, right? Uh, it goes owner, contractor, owner, architect, but the architects and the engineers act at well architects act as agents of the owner so they monitor uh the the progress of the of the project right so we have the engineers joint contract documents now obviously that's pretty pretty self-explanatory the engineers uh will have their own set of contracts with the owner right so these uh engineers joint contract documents are those standard documents we have the Associated General Contractors of America. Okay, so that's the AGC, the Associated General Contractors of America. Now, the contractors and owners, uh, well, they have um, uh, contracts for the co uh, contractors and owners and contractors and subcontractors. Here in Canada, that is like the CCDC2 on the traditional design bid build uh, delivery system and the uh, CCDC4B for subcontractors. So um, it's uh, definitely um, uh, one of the more uh, widely used, um, you know, it's almost uh, guaranteed that uh, something, you know, unless it's design and build, right? So then, of course, there's the Design Build Institute of America, which, of course, it uh, has contracts for owners and design build firms. So um, the, the contract documents, so the architects and, and the engineers and the contractors, they all have a role in, in creating the contract documents. But this is generally how it goes. Whether it's a design and build or it's a traditional design, bid, build, contract match, whatever. The owner has an idea. The owner needs somebody to research and design their the project for them, right? So um, the specifications, which are uh, also a standard set. So the, specif the specifications uh, also 
have, uh, there is a standard set of specifications from zero to 13, I believe. Uh, I think we use zero to nine quite regularly. Um, so uh, the, the first section, the division zero would be the, like the general conditions of, of uh, the contract, right? So um, there'll be a bunch of, a set of rules, right? So the um, owners can pick uh, whatever rule is relevant to that project, right? Or, or their needs. So the uh, architects will, uh, the specifications are like the first, right? First thing, they're the, they, they trump anything on, on, a, um, on a project. Like a, in, in any type of discrepancy, the specifications will trump the drawings. Uh, but the addendums now can change certain things uh, in the specifications, right? Um, the, you know, uh, or they could be type things like clarifications or whatnot. But anyways, then the drawings. So the architects draft the drawings, but the engineers, of course, they're the ones who have to do like the details, like the design load, like, like they come up with like the, you know, make sure everything's safe, right? So um, um, like the, in all the codes and all that are being uh, adhered to, right? So um, the uh, engineers and architects will come up with the drawings and specifications and uh, the contractor will ask questions and ask for alternative alternatives based on their experience and then that'll come as an addendum, right? Which then later could lead to, uh, after uh, the tender process, when the contract's been awarded, can lead to change orders and stuff like that. So um, it's quite complicated, okay? But I'm gonna make it very, very easy for you. We're gonna start small. Um, just gonna, I'm just getting, this. just starting off the series. So if you guys think that my format could change, I, I, I didn't, I have the setup, I have the GoPro Hero 5 Black going, um, and then my Canon EOS 5D Mark II. Um, but I went out and bought this whiteboard thinking that it'll help me with this, um, with this series. So I need to know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, let me know if you think that, uh, you know, if I should make any adjustments to this format or if, if it's good. Okay. Uh, I really need to hear that from you guys so I can deliver you the value to you that you deserve. Okay. So simple as that. Uh, we have different agencies. Okay. That have standard um, standard contracts. They make standard contracts, which you can purchase, right? They're, they're not free. You, you buy them from these guys, right? And then you tailor them to your needs, right? Um, the specifications, drawings, and denims, um, you know, the, 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 the specifications, drawings come out, uh, pre-tender, uh, or issued for tender. Uh, the, the owners and all the, the architects, engineers will bounce ideas around. And then when it's out for tender, that's when the addendum starts rolling in. Right, because that's when the, the contractor starts uh, adding his, their opinions and uh, you know advice and stuff like that. Right, and 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 they are requiring clarifications. Right, so we're gonna get into detail with each one of these. Um, I will be going into the contract documents quite in detail um, as per each delivery system uh, because it, it's a different contract for every type of uh, delivery system. The delivery systems that provide a matrix of organization, uh, it's dictated by the type of contract that the, uh, the, the, the owner has entered into and with whom, right? So um, it's very exciting stuff, very complicated. Uh, ask me any questions down in the comments. Make sure you ask, okay? Uh, don't don't leave anything on the table. Let me know. I'll answer all your questions. If I forget something or miss something, I'd like to know so that I can include it in a later video. Uh, today is June 27th, 2018. So this will be uh, the next video coming out. It will be next Tuesday and um, I, I'm just really excited about this series. Uh, make sure you guys join me every Sunday morning for my live stream. I, I, live, I go live 8 a.m. Uh, Mountain Center Time, Edmonton. Um, I, I'm just sticking with that time. Uh, I, used to, I used to shoot at 7 a.m., but I'm going to be shooting now at, uh, I shoot now at 8 a.m. just so that uh, there's more people awake in the, you know, from the West Coast and whatnot. Um, I'd love to uh, do more live streams. Um, just let me know what you think. I am going to be doing a live stream event. Now, what this event is going to be is a free course on how to read the drawings and specifications. Okay, it's going to be a live question and answering period. Uh, I'll, I'll release a date for that very, very soon. Um, but yeah, it is going to be a great show. So anybody who is interested in attending that, let me know down in the comments. Um, I, I might might it might be an unlisted video. It might uh, I might be an unlisted live stream. Um, so 
I don't know. It depends, right? Uh, it's, it all depends on how much interest is generated, okay? But yeah, it's going to be a free question, live question and answer period uh, where I teach you how to read and understand the drawings and specifications, okay? So watch out for that. I'll, rele I'll be releasing a date for that very, very soon. Okay, guys, so if you're new to Chris Conkle Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down here. And YouTube thinks you might like this uh, video right behind me here, so give it a watch. And um, yeah, you guys, this is Chris. Bye for now.